30 meters. 27 meters. 20 meters. 50 meters. Standing by for touchdown. Touchdown signal detected. Landing is... Landing is sequence initiated. Helium may detected. Standing by for normal termination of video.com. Standing by for normal termination of video.com. surface of Mars we've uh, never seen before. This is a part of the planet that we've only seen from orbit. Now we're up close. There's the horizon shot. Yeah, look at that. Uh, this confirms what we saw from orbit. We don't see a lot of rocks. We see uh, what looks like surface that might have been moderated, modulated, uh, configured in part because of ice action uh, beneath the surface. That's what it looked like from, from orbit. And it looks like the spacecraft is on a flat surface. It doesn't no, it look looks here to really be. flat. From the data we got on the engineering screen, it looked as if the uh, spacecraft is barely tilted, maybe only a quarter of a degree off vertical. 
and, uh, and the surface around it looks extremely flat. Looks like a good place to start digging. Now, some key items we saw earlier, the bio barrier. Yeah, we'll have to come back and see exactly what that is. Here we have a foot pad, clearly uh, nicely planted on the surface. Uh, that foot pad position is very nice. It looks like the surface is very, very solid. We haven't sunk into the surface very deep at all. Uh, but as you were saying, the bio barrier is something we want to make sure has been released so that we can get the arm out. And we'll be doing that in the next while, but the, uh, the pictures right now are telling us whether it's been released, and I haven't had a chance to look at it very closely yet. Now, Phoenix is doing all of this autonomously. It was given some sort of marching order saying, you know, send home information about how you're doing first off. And Absolutely. The way that this worked was that after we went uh, out of sight of the uh, orbiter, out of Odyssey orbiter, 